Okay, in a previous tutorial, we went over the basics of using cron tab to create a cron job. Well, today we're going to be doing the same thing, but instead of a script or a command running in the background to back up something or do something quietly, we're going to actually um, open up a GUI application. So if you wanted a program to open up on the screen for the user at a certain time, this is how you do it. Just like last time, we're going to create a cron job with cron tab dash e to edit our list. We're going to come down here and um, right now looking at my clock it is 103 so I'll set something to go off at five minutes after. So I'm just going to put five here and I could put 13 since it's one o'clock or I could put an asterisk and it will run at five minutes after every hour. And uh, so we got minutes, hours, day of the month, month, and day of the week. So this will run at five minutes after every hour every day. And what we're going to do is if we try to run just something like X clock, we won't see anything because it's not going to display it. We need to tell it which display we want it to go to. Now, um, real quick, first off, give myself more time. Let's set that to six minutes after the hour. Save that. Once again, if we do it like that, we're not going to see anything. Nothing's going to come up the screen at six minutes after. But if I right now echo out display, sorry, dollar sign display, all capital, that's our system variable for our display, you can say that we're running colon zero, so our first display. The only time that will change is if you're SSH'd in and you have an X forwarding going, or in some cases if you have a second monitor, depending on how the monitor set up, um, maybe you have a virtual uh, display like... Um, like an X nest. Um, but 99% of the time, if it's just a desktop computer, it's going to be display zero like that. So let's go back into cron tab, come down here. So we want X clock to open up at six minutes after. All we have to do is say display equals and tell it which display we want to go to, in this case, colon zero. And if we save that, and once again, it, we got no errors there. It says installing new cron job, but no errors after that. If I say the date, we can see that uh, the time is 5.19 after the hour. And that cron job we set to run at 6 minutes after the hour. So in about 30 seconds now, uh, the um, X clock should open up on my display here. Now I've got two monitors, and I'm not recording the whole screen here, so it may pop up somewhere else, and I'll drag it over. But... You'll have to believe me that it popped up at that time if we don't see it <laughs> pop up right then. Uh, okay, we got about 10 seconds left. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Up oh, there it is. And once again, it popped up outside the recording area. You're just going to have to believe me that it really popped up. So that is how you can set a GUI application to open up on a set display uh, using cron job and cron tab, creating a cron job with cron tab. So um, that's it. Uh, very basic. Uh, uh, cron job, once again, can be a little scary at first, but once you uh, understand it, and I hope my first tutorial on this explained the timing of everything uh, clearly to you. And once again, the way I have it set now, Every hour of every day, it will pop up X clock at six minutes after the hour if I don't remove that. So let's run uh, cron tab dash E again, and I'll come down here. Once again, I could just comment it out if I want to, but I'm just going to remove the line in uh, um, nano to remove a line or cut a line. As you can see down here, we got control K, control K, and then control X. Y to save, enter to save that. So that is how you create a cron tab uh, or a cron job with cron tab to open up a GUI on a set display. Hope you found this useful. If you did, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Check out the links in the description. Also check out filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon. Um, that will help you. There will be a link in the description there, and that will help support this site if you plan on buying stuff at Amazon. I also put a little banner in there just recently for Newegg. So if you're going to buy stuff on Newegg, click on that banner, and it will help support this site. Um, thank you very much, and I hope that you have a great day.